Hello there everyone, Ashton Flash here and welcome on into a early LEGO Minecraft 2023 set review. Today we are looking at set number 21141. This is the B Cottage and will be retailing for $24.99 USD or $32.99 Canadian. Weird conversion. But regardless, it's here. We've got it. This was picked up early from Walmart here in Canada. And I went back, rewatched my bee farm reviews so that I could be educated on all the bee stuff. I won't make a mistake, hopefully, like I did the last one. And I just think some of the things I said in there were very interesting that they've come true. So let's go ahead and let's take a closer look here. Let's start with the bee cottage itself here. And this is really cool. I, I love the look of this. It's very small, very simple. I actually designed a bee house myself for another set i used it in like the leak video or rumor video kind of like you know i don't know the size of this is just small I, i'd love to show you guys my version but uh the idea behind this as well is it doesn't have to be on the ground it could be flying like you can see here that you've got the little feet included i think that's pretty fun and uh, so you could sort of build it up in your minecraft world on a bunch of transparent parts if you want to but uh, there's a couple of different ways to get into the inside here. The first being that you can just open it up here, the little gates, and put a figure on the inside. Or you can completely lift up the whole top part of the bee cottage to get inside. You've got like a table there you can see that you can remove as well as in the corner a little oak block. But yeah, that's what uh, the inside there looks like. It, it's pretty small. I, I like the front of this. This face doesn't really make sense. A lot of the brick built faces don't make sense because like what blocks are being used there. But I like the little bits for the antennas. I think that's pretty fun. And uh, the wings look great here as well. All of the parts being used. Um, they introduced this piece here uh, last year for uh, like little water patches. But now this year they've made it transparent like clear and also orange and set so it's cool to see uh, also you've got some different stained glass there uh for the windows it's cool and here's uh the little table that i was talking about there you've got the honeycomb piece there printed piece which is back uh, from the original beehive set you've got a honey bottle here for the first time as well as a little red candle which is cool to see the candle piece introduced in minecraft last year being reused here in red i think that's really awesome all right so this is like the little i guess farm section as well uh that you could call it i, I like it. it it's very cute it reminds me of the original set of uh, also interesting like we we're supposed to get the, like the really cool birch forests um in that update but of course recently it, it got canned which would have been really cool anyways for the first time here we've got an actual bee nest which looks so cool I really love the look there that they've got, like just the, the design of that. I think that they could have had some way to tell if it was ready with the honey or not. And, and, I, and I include that in my version. But uh, anyways, you could see at the bottom there that you've got a little feature for the bees to fly around. I think that's, yeah, that's a fun little play feature. It's uh, a lot bulkier, I would say, than the one that was included in the other set just because like it's adding a lot to like the trunk of the tree but that's fine uh yeah I, I like the look of the tree no transparent leaves or anything which i think is weird they are sort of moving away from that it seems um here you've got two little bees on stands which is awesome in the bee farm review i was like man it would be nice if like a, a second one was included so more can fly around and that's what happened here. So we've got two included, which I, I love it a lot. Really happy about that. So you can like take that, you know, and sort of pose it and put it in different places around your set. The idea behind this being that uh, being <laughs> you've got a hole there from the piece that they're using to attach the wings and you can attach it like that. I think that is awesome. Over here, you've got a bee nest there, the crafted one. And uh, you've got some flowers for them to pollinate. And then some beetroots down there near the water. And what I absolutely love about that, again, in that same video, is like, can we can we please get a hoe included? A and here we go. One of the very first sets ever to have a hoe. And it's a bee follow-up set. And, and I'm just so glad that we can plant all that now. And everything else. Grow it all in our LEGO Minecraft world. Here's the honey bear skin, and this is just such a fun skin. I love the idea of this. Of course, put a bear with honey all over it in a bee set. I think it's so cute. 
the the little face sticking out of the mouth there as well as just all the honey like on the chest and even on the hand i think it's just such a fun skin i'm really happy with this but obviously one of the standouts if not the standout for the set is the iron hoe which i'm sure in a few years it'll be like who cares but after 10 years of waiting we finally have it and i'm just so happy about that and here's the baby zombie included in the set and you might have forgotten that it was even in here and you might have even forgotten that lego made one because it has been five years since we've had this last time was back in 2018 so i'm very happy that it's here it's back it's so simple i'm honestly shocked that it was exclusive to that set and that it hasn't appeared in more obviously the parts have been used a couple of different times since but uh, really awesome to see here and if you've never seen how this works you can see that uh, this is what the little minecraft baby head looks like and then it attaches to a similar design of the lego minifigure baby but it's got like the little straight arms because it is minecraft i think that's really cute and here are the bees up close. I I've always liked the Lego design. I know that some people think they're a little bit too big, a little bit too long, but I, I really like the design of it. I I'm really impressed by just the wing usage and the little print there on the front of the face. And then also included is this angry bee, which I think is a lot of fun. I'm, I'm glad that they included that. I, I guess in a way it would have been nice if it was exclusive to the other set, but still, I, I don't mind that it's here. I think that uh, uh, more the merrier. And you also get an extra face tile for both of them. So if you just have the parts for the body laying around, you've got a whole extra bee if you want. And here is the other B variant. This is, uh, you might be like, why is it a variant? Well, it's because of the dark yellow included. That little piece there for the body, that I guess just doesn't exist in yellow. So Lego decided to use that to have it attached to the actual like spinning feature around the tree, which is fine. I think that's pretty cool. But uh, that, that's technically another variant for the bees. There you have it, everyone. That is my review of the Bee Cottage set. I think that it's a fun, little cozy set. Would have liked the campfire build here, but even just like the little tree build, it's fun. And the little farm, simple, but yeah, the mobs in here as well. Like you're getting a ton of bees, the, the, the baby zombie being back, the new skin, awesome, awesome, awesome stuff. Really happy about this. And of course, the standout, the, the iron hoe. I, I realized this, and this is the last time I'm going to talk about the hose here in any of the reviews, but I realized there's the exact same amount of sets launching in this wave that there are different hoe variants. So it would have been great if every single set could have had an exclusive version of the hoe just to introduce them into all of the sets for the future of Minecraft. But I get it. Spread it out across more sets down the line, like in the summer sets, which speaking of, I actually have a leak video talking about all the set names and a bit of speculation for that, which you could check out, as well as I'll link my playlist at the end here of all the other 2023 sets that we've looked at here on the channel. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. Hope you all have a great day. I will see you all in the next one.